Before we tackle this problem, let's figure out what we need to do. We're dealing with an arithmetic sequence, a series where each term is created by adding a fixed difference to the previous term. For example, the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 progresses by adding 1 each time. The problem states the 100th term is 2 and the 150th term is 10 and it asks for the third term. Let's use the arithmetic sequence formula. We don't initially know the first term, a1, or the common difference, d. However, we have two known terms, which helps us find d. From the 100th to the 150th term, the value increases from 2 to 10, an increase of 8 across 50 terms. Therefore, the difference is 8 divided by 50, which equals 0.16. Now, instead of finding the first term, we can use any known term to rewrite the formula. Let's quickly test this concept with a simple sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Normally, to find the third term using the first term, we do the first term plus 2 times the difference, which is 1 plus 2 times 1. 1 equals 3. But notice we can also use the second term, which is 2. The second term plus 1 times the difference, which is 2 plus 1 times 1, also equals 3. This works because arithmetic sequences have a constant difference, making it valid to reference any known term. Applying this to our original problem, let's use the known 100th term, which is 2. We take 2 plus the quantity, 3 minus 100 times the difference, or 2 plus negative 97 times, 0 0.16. That equals 2 minus 15.52, which is negative 13.52. Thus, the third term is negative 13.52.